here. We thought we might be in Luxembourg. We weren't. I feel like Luxembourg is like a forgotten country. Yeah. People go to France, Germany, you know, Belgium, but not Luxembourg. So we're gonna discover what is perfect in Luxembourg for kids. Yeah, first impressions of Luxembourg is beautiful. I mean, it helped that the sun kind of came out as we crossed the border, but you've got proper like autumn vibes going on here. It is stunning. Are you filming me because I'm doing a roundabout? Just filming you because you're beautiful. <laughs> I'm a master now, pro. <laughs> So we have parked up in this beautiful quiet area of Luxembourg which you're not actually supposed to park in with a vehicle this big but shh don't tell anyone. So we are now heading into Luxembourg city centre and then we're going to go on the train because all of public transport is free in Luxembourg which is amazing. Yeah. came off the train at Fanthor and we have heard there is a lift that can take you all the way up. Now there is a lift here. We don't know whether this is the one that we're supposed to be on, but let's get on it. No, one, two. Let's go up, let's see where it goes. Ooh. Look outside, look, look up to us. I think we got the right one. So you get this lift up here. Oh. Okay, well, it's not the right one because the one that we want is over there. But there's some cable carts here. Where do these go? <laughs> so we're now on a cable car and we don't really know where we're going. But it's. Isn't this part of travelling? Just finding out random things? So we have come up the cable car and then we are going to catch a tram to Bok Casemates. So this is in the old part of Luxembourg and there are 17 kilometres of underground tunnels that were first built in 1644, ready for the facts, 1644 when under Spanish rule. But for now guys, what are we getting on? A tram, we're doing every mode of transport today. Four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes. <laughs> we do know about this place is that it is the residence of the Grand Duke of Luxembourg so whether he's in there right now I don't know maybe and although there aren't any tours going on at the moment there are tours of this palace during the summer months but nothing right now so we're just gonna have a little nosy around the outside and look at that beautiful Christmas tree it's just up there go back Go back. So I obviously just got too close to the guard and he told me to go away and go back. Oh. This place that we're going to is the place that I've wanted to take you for ages. Do you want to know what it's called? Yeah. It's called the Chocolate House. <gasps> it sells chocolate. It sells chocolate and you buy a lump of chocolate and some milk and you mix it all in and make the best hot chocolate ever. So we have ordered, but obviously sitting at a table and waiting for food is no fun for Bodhi. So, he's having a run around there, right outside the palace. And to keep him entertained, they put on a changing of the guards for us. That was nice of them. Look how big it is. Are you pleased with your burger? Yeah, I think I did the best. Shake you definitely did the best. Look at my burger. Big burger. Hey, you're selling a croque monsieur. It's <laughs> cheese on toast. Right, we'll help you bump you. Can you take that one? Yummy yeah, though. Look at all the chocolate. It's massive cakes, there's loads of chocolates. So this is why we came here. So this is all their big clumps of chocolate on a spoon that you then mix into hot milk and then you make your own hot chocolate. And they have so many different flavours. 
We've got, what have we got? Praline, ginger, karak tea. I don't even know what half this stuff is. I'm going to get some. The kids. The kid is like one, but that's, it's only for kids. So I hate eating out in countries that I don't know because I've worked out what it should have been and there was an extra like 30 euros. I just don't know why it was on the bill, but I'm too British and too polite to say like, <laughs> why have you charged me an extra 30 euros? Like, is it tax? Is it service? I don't know. And what we need to remember, and we need to yeah. both be better at yeah. this, is that- We're not on holiday. This is our life. Yeah, this is what we do. And we get lulled into it. When we come somewhere like this, we get lulled into a little bit of like, Oh, let's eat out. That'd be really nice. Yeah. Was actually we should have just done the hot chocolate. Hot chocolate, because that's the experience, and not gone for not that great of food, if I'm honest. So, so mission yeah. for pack lunches. If you let's guys, go to Lidl. <laughs> if you guys are here for like luxury, let's spend loads of money, travel tips, then we are not your girls. If you're here for let's be cheap ass budgeters, then that is us. <laughs> right, let's go and buy some free stuff today. Right. So we've just walked behind the palace and out onto this view here. But what you can see is loads of tunnels in the cliff faces and loads of bridges. It's a really weird layout. Okay, you ready for all the facts that I now know? How do you know them, Jen? Because I just listened to a tour. <laughs> uh, she was like that, I was like, I was like, Jen, are we going yet? She's like, in no, a no, minute. No, in a minute, she's still talking. <laughs> So behind us and in the valley here is a place called Grund. And now I'm like a tour guide, I need a little flag. It's more residential and lots of nice pubs. Lots of lovely pubs. <laughs> and over here behind the, and over here behind the railway bridge is the more modern area, industrial area. I could do tours now. Another success. <laughs> no, it's not. So it closed at three, it's now four o'clock. Uh, well, 10 to four. So we have missed going into the actual book customers but who cares when you've got kids things like this oh, are just as exciting yeah let's see for you it's go on go and have a look Ooh. wow you can do good, actually, isn't it? you can do this turn off for free can't you <laughs> yes <laughs> how was it guys how was the cave of your lifetime it was good now let's see Okay, let's go this way. Okay. Do you know what? The, to go into the thingy, I think, was like eight euros each. That's enough for them, isn't it? <laughs> They'd be bored for the yeah. amount of time that you can do for eight euros. How cool is it? So we're now walking along a wall and we're desperately trying to get Luna to not climb this wall. Cause? Death. So I think it's all cool, apart from these weird, like, green settees that are over there. <laughs> yeah, I saw like, them. Luna even went, what are those green squares? Like, everything's all, like, old. It looks like princess castles and then those green things. They look ridiculous. <gasps> so this is called Winter Kids. And it's like a little market, just all kids' activities. We've only just come in, and so far, someone's doing crafts over there. And what are they doing here, Luna? A candle. They're making a candle. So one of the things that I really love about not being able to speak the language very well is that you end up coming to things that you don't know what they are. So right now, I think there's a show starting any minute now, but we don't know what the show is. Okay, so the show, oh. the show is starting, and then after the show, Luna's going to make a Christmas card. Is it going to smell nice? And it smells nice. How, How did, did you know, you know that? that? Smell it. Yeah, it oh. does. It smells nice. She makes it with all the chai and spices, and she does print on it. Well, it's just, just you two. Have you just suddenly become fluent in? No, I, the man spoke really good English. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Like this super dramatic music, and there's like um, puppets spinning around. Any idea? No idea. Brody, any idea? Clueless. Like we don't, like we don't know what's going on, but it is drawing a crowd. Luna's in. Uh, there. And it, she is just making her Christmas card. So Luna's just been asked, um, just so we know, what language do you speak? And Luna goes, 
Luna language. <laughs> What have you made? I made them uh, Christmas cards. I made Christmas cards. And what's the best thing about them, Luna? They smell. They smell amazing. Yeah. They're made with cloves and cinnamon, and then like rice flour that makes this paste, and which means that they smell like Christmas. They smell like Christmas. Look how cute they are. So that is it guys, we are going to say goodbye from Luxembourg and go home because it has got cold. Are you feeling cold? Yes. It is beautiful. The Christmas markets are stunning. It's a bit expensive, but I do love that all public transport is free. That is amazing. But is there much to do here when the Christmas markets aren't on for kids? Not sure really. Also not sure whether a seven and a half ton should be here. So we've stayed at a friend's house, but if it wasn't for us staying at a friend's house, I'm not really sure where we'd park a seven and a half ton lorry. So from us, from Luxembourg, we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.